Hello and welcome to Silverstone, the home of British motorsport and this weekend it's the home to Formula Student UK by the IMEC E. Race Tech are here covering the whole weekend, uh, we're in the tent over there. I thought while everything's not happening really today and there's from Formula One cars on track, everyone else is getting set up in the garages so we'll go for a little wander and see what people are up to. Um, behind us here we have got, we'll find out what the, who we've got here. Let's. Going. This is all British units. The, the, the really useful thing here is just above every garage it says which university is here and it's got a flag for the country in case it's a weird named university and the car number. So four British unis on this side, four, four other teams on that side, one British but FSUK really is a global event slash sport now and this is Liverpool John Moores University and I'm pretty sure we can grab one of the guys. Guys, who wants to be on YouTube with Race Tech? Anybody? I'll pick on someone. I'll pick on you, young fellow. Uh, what's your name? Tom. Tom. Uh, uh, you're, I'm guessing you're at John Moore's. Yeah. I'm hoping you are, yeah. So what's your role on the team? Um, I'm just a, a spanner monkey, really. You're just a spanner monkey, but you've got an important job to do. You've got to get the car together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to, got to sort it out, so... Yeah. So uh, you're running a space frame. Uh, what engine are you you guys running? CBR 600 RR engine. Right. Okay. Then is that uh, injected or is it carbureted? Uh, injected. 600 cc it is. All right. So, what are you guys are uh, expecting for here? Are you more on a budget, or you uh, have you got had some money to spend on your car? It's, it's a bit of both, really. I mean, you've got to do stuff on a budget. You've got to you've got to look at the costing. Yeah. You know, with the, the whole business thing, as well as. Uh, with the statics and stuff, um, but yeah, you know, we've, we've we've had a bit to play with, and we 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 spent a lot of time developing a, a monocoque chassis, and we didn't quite make it, so then we had to go back to to the space room. So, so we'll look forward to seeing a monocoque next year. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Tom. See you soon. So, just to point out some of the differences, this is John Moore's. Maybe I don't like to use the term cast strapped, but. We'll, we'll find maybe Graz or Delft, who basically arrive almost like a Formula One team. Um, it's crazy to, to the, the varying size of each team. Uh, you've got small teams of maybe five or ten people coming all the way from India, and then teams of 60 people coming from down the road. Uh, who have we got in here? This is a nice floor in this garage. Don't know if you've seen the floor. It's not very technical, but it's a very nice floor for a garage, I feel. Uh, so, it's a plethora of activity in here right now. Everyone's getting the garages set up. Thankfully, they're at, they aren't actually scored on setting up the garages. It's incredibly noisy. We've got some guys actually getting their engine out there. We'll go and get a shot of that. Oh, they're struggling to carry it. We'll get out of their way. <laughs> That's going in the van. <laughs> Uh, so University of Lancaster there, um, this is University of Leeds, sponsored by Marley. Marley of course, uh, partners of Audi Sport and Scuderia Ferrari in Formula One. Right, there's, I think they're a little bit too busy in here to get anything to speak, so shall we go to the next one Marion? Yeah, let's go, right. Gentlemen that were carrying the engine have got it in the van, so well done there. Good job. And it's another garage full of Brits, really, that one. <laughs> and another garage full of Brits here as well. I wanna find I wanna find a team that's travelled. That's the Turkish flag, I believe. I do believe that's the Turkish flag. Has Hasetepi. Hasetepi. Let's see if these guys have arrived. Hasetepi. Nope. So we talk about guys that are big. This is TU Graz, uh, Austrian University. Lot of uh, backing, including Red Bull. Let's see who's uh, up for a chat. Guys, has anyone got two seconds for an interview? You? Yeah? Hello, what's your name? Steven. Steven, and uh, what's your role in the team? I'm the team leader. You're the boss? Yeah, since two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> for two weeks. Uh, has everyone been behaving themselves? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, uh, you guys are running basically a radical concept car, really. They're a proper prototype car. Do you want to talk me through 
your philosophy with your car, what your engine you're running, suspension? Okay. We are running a KDM engine, 500cc. Um, we are running a carbon fiber monocoque uh, with aero and carbon fiber rims and our concept is just lightweight. Yeah. Um, the, the power is not the most important thing, just go for lightweight and yeah, that's our concept. Okay then, so uh, reliability, have you guys been testing much? Uh, yeah, we are. We are just running around 500 to 600 kilometers. 500 to 600 k's, that's a lot more than the endurance event. Yeah, it is, but S testing is yeah most important. Seat time for the drivers, and yeah. yeah. So what are you hoping to gain out, out of the competition? A win, experience, a job? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything, yeah, for sure. Everything, um, and yeah, for sure, success. In the success, I like that. And yeah, we are here just for one thing, to win. I like it. Keep your eye out for Graz. Right, we'll move on. Thank you very much, guys, and good luck. So we've also got UH Racing there. That's all I can say on that without sounding like I'm being partial. Um, shall we have a quick look around their car? Well, no one's here, we'll go and have a quick look. So, no one's here about this, so no one's going to know. So hopefully a few people from uni will be surprised at it. So UH Racing, in the back here they've got the CBR 500 en engine. So where is Graz are running a 600? UH have got the 500. Um, UH have gone basically with a very simple concept. Lightweight and on a budget, but also well engineered. So they've got a steel space frame chassis uh, and a lot of the parts have either been done in-house, uh, hardly any of it has actually been brought in and the guys have really put an effort into this. Also this car has been tested a lot recently, um, so the guys have actually <laughs> not just built the car but taken it out, shook it down, checked what's all the teething issues that some teams don't have enough time to test, so they come straight here and start having problems with coolant leaking, oil pressure going, these guys have nailed that. So keep your eye on you, it, Tracy. They may actually pull one out of the bag this weekend. Right, we'll go and wrap up outside now. We've had a quick tour of the circus. And yeah, Formula Student UK. Uh, keep up to date with us all weekend. Follow us on, subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, Race Tech Mag. Follow us on Facebook, Race Tech Magazine. We'll be keeping you up to date. We'll be giving away subscriptions and magazines throughout Formula Student UK as well. If you're here, come and say hello. We'll show you the stand in a video tomorrow. And keep your eyes peeled on YouTube because we've got lots of interviews and lots of great content coming. Thank you very much for watching.